Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're coming back again. That's awesome. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. Uh, today I've got um, some play I'm doing in my cozy journal. This is just a fun journal that I'm putting together. Uh, the, the base kit for it is on my Etsy shop. It's cheap. Okay. And then I've got a lot of freebies that I've been adding to it and building things in. This is the freebies for today. <clears throat> um, this is, uh, I cut this off. I'll show you. I cut this off and folded it back for a hinged page and I cut this out. Um, and I'm going to put a, a, a thing in it. I'll show you when I get to that. Then I've got a little old clock over here and a lantern and some words on some labels there. Warm, snuggle, comfort, breathe, cookies, cake, snow, home, and rose. I thought, you know, we need a few more things to go with this. So that's that. This is another um, sheet of freebies. Uh, I needed some taller um, tags or journaling spots for some other elements that I've made. So I go to my favorites, you know, these window pane things. They're just cute. So I took some of the elements um, from the kit and I put them in the windows. Just adorable. Oh, I think they are. And then I made some bigger-ish journaling cards um, to go in some other places. So that's the second freebie. And this one, I know you're going to think, oh, that looks a little plain. <laughs> We're going to fix that. Okay, so I took a, an old vintage uh, floral background and tweaked it a bit and put it in a heart shape. And I'm going to show you what I did with that. That's going to be pretty cool, I think, anyways. And then I made three extra tags because I didn't want to waste the space, right? So I made three extra tags just with the round tops. And you can put whatever you want in them, on them, or whatever. They're just playing with the background of the kit. Okay? All right. So those are the freebies. Now let's get into the fun. Um, I've been working on this, right? So this is that page I said I cut out the inside. I cut this off. I angled this down a bit so that it's a hinge, right? So now I've got a hole in the middle of my page. And I've background printed this with the background paper of the of the kit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I put this um, brown because I'm not always the best and I figured well you know what I'm in, instead of trying to go around and make it perfect I'm gonna show you what I usually do when I don't get things quite straight right I'm going to um, put this in as a little border, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and that clears up the, the not straight of it on both of them, <clears throat> excuse me, gosh. And another thing I did with this, I didn't just put um, some plasticky stuff, this is packaging, um, you can get you can get buy stuff to to do this with um but this is just you know packaging let me see which one which end is up and i made a little pouch with it so i'm going to put some stuff in there before i seal it up i know you probably can't see that maybe you can i don't know i'm going to put some stuff in there before i seal it up and it'll be kind of a um a shakerish type element <laughs> Uh, it, it'll have some stuff in it anyway. So there you go. Um, so this is the first thing that we're going to work on making. And it's going to go on this page. Yeah. I'm going to have to get some stuff out from under that page to get it on that page. But anyways, let's do this. And I just used a, a scrap piece of stuff to make this part of the frame. The, it's cardstock, lightweight cardstock. So what I'll do, I'm going to put the stuff in it first, and then we'll move forward from there. Cute as a button. Okay, I've been saving some little things from off of die cuts. There's some little bitty tiny little, um, let's see if I can get that in the little die cut bits. And these ones are, <laughs> I 
I had a happy accident one day and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to use that for something. So I have these little bits of, um, and I put some more, uh, buttons and stick pins and threads and all kinds of little things that you, you, that you craft with. Let me see if I can get that in shot. Just tiny little things and my Cricut cut it out. If I can get it, where am I going with it? Okay, there you go. My Cricut cut it out and I thought that's perfect. And I backside printed the paper um, on that um, uh, homemade papers that I have in my kit, in my <clears throat> in my Etsy shop. It's the very mild pink color so that no matter which way they fall in there, it won't matter. You're going to see the button or the pink and it'll still look like a button or whatever. So that was my thinking anyways. Okay, which is the top? Now I'm going to just dump some of this in there because they're all teeny little bits hopefully I don't make a mess all over my desk all the little tidbits of this and that maybe too many I might have to dump some back out I don't know <laughs> it was just a cute idea I don't know uh <laughs> Now you got to pick up little bitty things, right? I'm not good at picking up little bitty things. Okay, now you get them in there and they're just kind of going to wobble around inside. Okay? <laughs> it's fun. Okay? So, all right, let me put that aside. Now that I've got those in there, I'm going to go ahead and seal this pouch up before I move on to the next part. So, yeah. Let me make sure I'm getting to the right place. And I don't want to get, you know, glue down there where it's going to squidge into my inside. So I'm just going to try to keep it up there. Just so that it's sealed up. I don't care if it's sealed down close because those aren't going to go too far towards the top. Unless somebody turns the book upside down. Then I might say, don't do that. <laughs> It won't matter anyway, so, you know. Oh, I did get some down there, but that's okay. It's, um, let me see if I can squidge it back towards this outside. The art glitter glue and the cosmic shimmer dries clear, so you won't be able to see it when it's dry, so that's okay. All right. This is textured, so I want the texture to be on the underside. Okay. Now I'm going to try to center this up. Ish. <laughs> okay. Ish. Before I put it on there. If I can get it kind of centered. I don't know. I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. Sometimes we complicate our lives with fun things to do, right? <laughs> I do. I hope you guys can get a little bit complicated with some of your fun stuff. It's okay, you know? I'm just going to try to tack it down for a sec. Hope I'm in shot. And then uh, I'll move around because I had it kind of straight-ish. So, yeah. Get it on there and then just glue it down. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are all about having some fun here. And, you know, this might be a, an element that somebody might would think, Oh, that is fun. Oh, don't do that. It's squidged up again. That's okay. It's on the outside anyways. Okay. <sighs> I want it down. Sometimes when you're using, come on, get off. Sometimes when you're using things, okay, that's better, that um, are plasticky, it takes a little bit more to get it, <clears throat> you know, glued down and holding on and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. We just carefully, <laughs> carefully glue that together. 
and trust our glue that it's going to dry clear and it will this is like i said art glitter or cosmic shimmer whichever one i put in there i i like those two i hope i've got it pretty straight if not i'll deal with that in a minute okay i'm going down the outside corners here okay yeah so this is going to be what somebody would see if they open the the hinged page on the other side and i will of course decorate some more you know it's a thing all right okay yep let me get this out of the way so I can work on this. <clears throat> I want it to be, you know, like so. But I want it to be like so straightish. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I just have to hold that still. Once again, tack this down so that it doesn't move on me. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on putting die cuts and different things, you know, pretty stuff around it. And that way it'll be uh, decorated on this side besides just the, the little tidbits of stuff I put in there. <laughs> it's a thing, right? Like I said, we're having fun. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what I'm supposed to do. I have ordered myself to have fun this year. We've had a few rough years in our world, and it's time for, I don't know, fun and just some relaxation and stuff. Good times. Ooh, that was an old TV show, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, you. Get, me. Get in there. That doesn't look half bad. Okay, so we've got that in there. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of let it do its thing there for a minute. <clears throat> Let's see. I need some double-sided tape for this. And we'll see about getting it in there straight-ish into the journal. I think this is going to be fun. Like I said, I'm going to decorate some more. I keep not getting my doohickey out. <clears throat> I'm going to decorate it some more and put some die cuts and different, you know, things to embellish the page. I think that's going to be nice. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I've got to get some stuff out from under this page before I start putting this in here. Move some stuff out of the way. Ooh, I get too cluttery sometimes. Okay. Now, this is going to go here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where was it going to go here? I think it's going to go here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was my plan. For it to open up this way. Okay. Yep. It's going to go there. You know, I might take a little bit off the top or the bottom. It seems a little bit tall now, but I'm ready to put it in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a little bit, maybe a quarter inch off the top and a quarter inch off the bottom before I <clears throat> stick it in there. That way I've got some space to work with on the setting it in there right I'm gonna do it this way because that side's straight okay sometimes when you fold things it's not exactly straight so it's better to go with the, the 
the edge you know is straight. <laughs> if that makes sense. Makes sense to me. So I'm going to do it that way. Okay. Just a little here and a little there will get us where we need to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Now I'll recut and bevel those. Okay, hope I didn't stick my head in the camera just then. I was looking at what I was doing instead of what I was doing. Okay. I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to put this here. So that we do have that little corner. And another thing I may do, I may take some scrappy bits and make a pocket underneath it. You know, a long pocket. Anyways, not today. This is, I've got a lot planned for today. It may get long, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm going to put it here and it's going to fold. I'm going to take just a touch off of there too. I don't want it to be getting all folded up, bent up and such when I'm working with it, right? Okay, yep. Going to just take just a touch off. That's what we do. We adjust, right? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hope my head wasn't in the camera again. I may go ahead and round these corners because I think that would look good too. We're just working in my in my process of how I think about things now. Okay. So that's going to be so much better. Okay. Oh, I didn't show you the finished up part of this. It looks so nice now that it's all decorated up and got all that stuff on it. I'll, I'll do a flip through in a little bit. Anyways, <coughs> excuse me. All right. Sorry, but this needs some inking. Just a little. I don't do heavy inking, but a little bit of light inking gives it that lovely vintage look. I like the lovely vintage look so yep since I've cut it off now it needs a little inking so just a little right okay cool 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 now that's right that's how I wanted it so let's put it there let me see if I can fold this around this way because I want it to go don't confuse yourself oh that ain't gonna work I want it to go I want it to go here all right it'll be fine okay get that off of there I'm not a complete scatterbrain, just sometimes. I usually plan things out and get a lot more done, but this one I wanted to show you how I was doing that. You don't have to put that in the middle. You can decorate the middle, not even cut it out. I mean, you know, it's just whatever you want to do. It's your freebie to use, however you wish. Um, so, yeah. Want that over just a touch, down just a touch, and straight-ish. That's where you get a little bit difficult when it's um when you got something lumpy underneath you. But that's okay. That is okay. Yep. Now that folds out like so. That's gonna dry and not show. Okay. And then I've got that hinged in there. That's gonna be so pretty. I'm gonna decorate all around that and all over here and you know stuff here's my big tall tags I put in there um, because yeah I said I was gonna make something for that so I thought well I'm gonna share it with my friends while I'm making it so there you go so there's that page this is the page where we were gonna do our next little bit okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a belly band 
it's that heart, right? It's going to be a belly band, belly band, belly band. Does that make sense? That's my idea anyways. Now you can do this with any kind of shape you want to use or whatever. I just thought that would be so pretty, classy looking on a on a page spread, right? To have it, this is the, the center. I just took the heart and I cut it down the middle. And then I cut in the middle of those and in the middle of those. And of course I put lace on it because, you know, that's how I am. So... I just thought this would be really classy, pretty, and I can stick little pieces in there, right? Little journaling cards or whatever. And those tall um, window pane uh, journaling cards, tags that I showed you that I made these ones here, you can cut these out. That's what I do a lot of times. Cut these out, and then they would be perfect to stick in these little places. Or these ones can stick in there. Or decorate your other tags. Whatever you want to do. So, I'm just giving you options. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. And, of course, I'll decorate around them. But for today, this is what I decided I was going to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So, since this is a very awkward shape to... Um, To do I didn't use any uh, tape behind it I'm going to um, do the end and the top so that it makes a belly band and then I'll do the, the top and bottom of those right that's I haven't done this before so you know this is this is just the plan of it right okay So, I'll get this one on, and then I'll line the other one up with this one, right? Yeah. Let's see if I can hold that down a second. I think it's going to be pretty. I mean, you know, hearts aren't just for Valentine's. Of course, we do have February coming up next month, so you can use this however you wish. Ooh, make a cool Valentine's card for your, for your sweetheart. Anyways, yeah, just do whatever you want to do with it. But like I said, I'm going to get these set up, and I'm going to have them, then I'll line these two up with these two. So that you can still kind of tell it's a heart, right? <laughs> At least that's the plan. Okay. All right. I think this cozy journal is going to be so cool. Just really, really, really beautiful when, when we get done with it. Okay. So let's get this one set here. Yep. And we'll get the other one. You could also do stenciling around this, which I might do. Some stenciling, some maybe some floral stenciling or something like that. Um, whatever, you know, floats your boat. Makes you happy. Yep. <laughs> so... Yeah, and you don't even have to put lace around it. I mean, the heart's pretty by itself. You don't have to do that. I just like the lace. I like the look of it. Always have. So, once again, just the top part here and the bottom point. <laughs> the bottom point. Okay, I'm kind of eyeballing. Let me get a little closer. Don't stick my head in the camera. Kind of eyeballing it here ish I think yep I think so that's where it's going anyways <laughs> that's straight ish and aligned pretty much okay there you go 
Okay, I think that's pretty. Now you've got lots of places to put just cute little things. And I will put cute little things. <laughs> Not right now. I'm going to let it, you know, sit there and dry a minute. Okay, so let me give you a, a quick flip through of what we have done on the Cozy Journal. So if you've missed something, you can go back and watch. We've done this. That's a freebie. Um, we've done this. That's also a freebie. <laughs> These are freebies. Not the not the elements on there, but the, the tags. I did that. And this, and it's a whole video thing. This uh, little card, I just stuck that in there. That's one of the freebies from today. So we've got lots of pages still to work on. Lots and lots. This was uh, the center spread, and I still haven't decorated up here, but I did stick a card in there. So I put... Um, I did put my little triangles in there so that somebody can write in there. Uh, stuck some little cards in there. That one's not got tri triangles in it because eh, I didn't think somebody would write everywhere. Okay, so we've got these pockets in here. This one does have the triangles. And this one does not. Nope, it does not. So the top ones don't, the bottom ones do. There's the way it goes. And then it opens up this way. And you've got another um, tag in there. A couple of tags down here and a tall tag in there. So, yeah. I think it turned out just awesomely splendid, right? Now... And I'm still going to decorate that. So then we've got our heart we put in today. So cute. Very pretty. And we've got our hinged page with our little pocket of tidbits of stuff, right? <laughs> and that's going to get decorated. And that page will get decorated and all that stuff. And then this is our back one. This was also a freebie. Um, and I just put fabric behind. These are some elements in the kit. Then this is the freebie for today. And then these ones were also, you know, on that freebie of that day. Okay. So, it's coming along really nicely. Ooh, I missed a, I missed a little thingy. <laughs> it will just have to wait for another time, right? <laughs> okay. So, this is what we did today. We put our hinged page in. We put that on. We put our heart in. Isn't that cute? That's really pretty. So that ends you up with three freebies. Excuse me. Um, I didn't use these elements, but I'm going to use these and those um, because I've got some tags to put together right here. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. I don't want the video to get too terribly long, but here we go. We've got that in, and I'll do the tags and stuff um, either on another video or off off camera and then stick them in you know or little journaling cards whatever you know floats my boat <laughs> um okay so i hope you guys enjoy this and have fun with it it's going to be just this journal is all about the fun and relaxing and having just a a nice time or do it with your kids too i said that before yeah do it with your kids or your grandkids or your friends, whatever. It's just for fun. Okay. All right. Oh, and the freebies are on my website, julieworthington.com, freebie tab at the top of the page. The kit for the journal that has all the base and all that stuff in it, The these pages and these pages and these pages and all that is on my Etsy shop bookshelf by julie all the links are below so wherever you want to go you can go there from there uh, okay yep you guys take care have fun do this <laughs> it's fun please like and subscribe thanks for watching ttfn